Crime. I just remember Novell. I, I remember so many of the, of the Data General uh, and Edson De Castro and all these companies back then. At least IBM's been around to where we still talk about it. Um, what about Kodak and Xerox? Uh, so I think of it that way. But uh, it has fallen a long way. Is is there any is there any future really for IBM? It must be a niche, wouldn't you think? Yeah, I like the medium blue. I would even say you could call it two blue now that it's about to split off into basically one company that's going to focus on cloud and one company that's going to focus on consulting. So if you're looking for hope, it would be in the cloud business. I mean, IBM has been talking about the fact that 80 percent of uh, enterprise computing hasn't moved over to the cloud yet, and that's an opportunity that they could get into, of course, but it's probably not the core infrastructure that an Oracle or Amazon or a Microsoft is providing. It's generally like technology and services that sit on top there. So you're right. I mean, all those companies you named, they're basically gone or irrelevant now. IBM started a century ago, still kicking. So there is some hope, but it's not what it used to be, that's for sure. We've heard about the, the move to the cloud. I mean, that was uh, the last CEO was, was in the process of, of trying to do that. And, and we've also, the declining revenue story has been, I mean, it's not just quarters now, Alex. It's probably more than five mm -hmm. years where, where basically it's been a, an outlier when there was a gain uh, in revenue. And, and the, buy, you know, the buybacks to try to get the EPS up a little bit. It's, it's, been, it's been difficult to, to watch a once great name uh, struggle with not being in all, I, I, you know, even Microsoft didn't do social media. So it, it's, there, are, there are always new names that seem to take the place of the stalwarts. It's just the way the technology works. I don't know why. Young people. Yeah, well, I mean, Microsoft, by the way, um, it committed to cloud five years ago when it brought Satya Nadella in and has had this amazing revitalization. And I think IBM is trying to follow that playbook. But I mean, you sh I share your skepticism of the company. It might be too little too late. Yeah. Um, so at this point, what, who would you say that the IBM's com competition is? Who can they learn from? Who do they have to, who do they have to take share from? Do they just really have to hold their own? Or, and what are the prospects for it? I, I mean, would you buy the stock at $121? It's much cheaper than it's been. The market cap is smaller than it's been in, in quite a while. It, it, does that represent an opportunity uh, for investors? Yeah, they're in such a weird position because, again, they're coming into this cloud world after Microsoft and Amazon have really, uh, you know, staked their claim on it. I mean, but if you imagine that we're at the beginning of this move to the cloud, maybe there are, you know, multiple billions of dollars to be made and just, you know, working as a layer on top, which they call like the multi-cloud. So that's interesting. I think, you know, right now the stock doesn't seem very appealing because they are going to spin off that money losing part and this new company will be you know, a better buy, but the question is, like, is the stock going to go up once that happens? I personally wouldn't do it right now. I'd wait to the spinoff and take a look at the multiple and make a decision then. I do think there's hope for the company. This is, they are operating. I mean, they finally got their strategy right, uh, but you, you kind of be, got to be an optimist in order to invest in them right now. And uh, we've got all of less than a minute left, Alex, but as a, as a savvy tech watcher, if, if either Facebook or Twitter said, will you come in here and, and, and fix our regulatory problems, that, where, where would you start what, what, after this, the most recent uh, incidents we've seen in the past uh, two weeks? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Facebook and Twitter, they seem to get in their own way all the time. I mean, the fact that they were interfering with the New York Post article last week uh, hasn't really turned out very well for them. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the, look at the FTC right now. Uh, it's totally underfunded. They make as much money. They have as much money in a year as Facebook makes in a day and a half. So uh, honestly, if I'm Facebook and Twitter, I stay the course. I'm not too worried about, you know, government regulation. They're coming for Google first. So I would wait and see how the Google thing plays out and then, you know, try to try to go from there. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.